think I'm at the point where I just need to do as many time sections as possible because I'm still, uh, I'm not as good with my timing as I wish I was. I'm in all the sections. I'm still kind of rushing through or guessing on the last, let's say three to five. Um, and I think I really need to get over that next, especially like in logical reasoning. I feel like I have great accuracy except for the ones that I'm rushing through. And that's where I'm getting five wrong. Um, and if I could turn that five into a three, you know, that would totally change my score. Yeah. So that's the thing to work on with pacing and just to make sure in logical reasoning, for example, you can blast through the easy ones, have a time bank built up for tougher ones later. And the same is true of other sections as well. There is an order, general order of difficulty, but in logical reasoning, it's a lot more apparent. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's funny. I'm finding with reading comp and logic games that I'm better off just kind of going start to finish when I, I've tried things like, oh, do the one that has the most questions because that has the most points associated with it. And somehow it just always chokes me up. I don't know why I'm better off just doing those earlier easier questions with a fresh brain and getting all those points. Um, but then logical reasoning is where I am varying it up more. And I'm, if I know that I struggle on a question, I'm just skipping it and leaving it to the end, even if it's kind of early. Um, so yeah, that's the current strategy. And that's fine. That sounds perfectly fine to me. The question is just doing enough timed sections and timed exams, getting them under your belt so that it feels smooth for you to go about it that way and that mm -hmm. you can execute on that on test day just the same as a practice. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.